dancing, walking, rearranging furniture. It is shopping. I let Talk it out of the cage. Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And I gotta say, this Road to Elite Smash just keeps getting better and better by the minute or by the episode. As we have a ton of characters in this Road to Elite Smash and so much so that we have covered every single series at, with a character from every single series at least once except for one series and that series is the Kid Icarus series as there are three characters in that series that we have not yet touched on Pit, Dark Pit, and Palutena. Now the easiest one to play out of these three is without a doubt Palutena. Palutena is a goddess, the goddess of light and it's no surprise that Palutena has a very broken moveset. So, as for this one, this wouldn't be the black skin. It does look like it. This is the actual black skin that I like to use. Uh, so, the 8th ult is kind of good, but I like using the black ult. Alright, looks like for our first matchup, we have a very, very easy one with Ganondorf. And looks like the time is going to be 5 minutes, but I think I can do it in less than 5 minutes. That is our reticle for neutral B. And, yep, Ganon side B. Very easy. So, yeah, I got to talk about S9 a little bit later. Her jab is pretty good as well. Explosive flame. Chain from... Smash 4, which used to be reflected, which I'll talk about later. But as you can see, S Smash doing really good damage. I'm missing the four there. But yes, if you saw earlier, S Smash has a win box, which all her Wayne attacks do. Her down smash also uses this Wayne function as well. So, alright. I was trying to read him going high and prevent him from recovering, but unfortunately that did not work, and I did not position myself that well. Alright, let's go. There's actually a really good tool, but I just didn't use it well there. So, as you can see, I moved him again with that win box of the S match. I just gotta get stuff getting hit by that side beat. So, let's go back. Really good back throw. Alright, and. When I grow up, I wanna go to the moon! <laughs> Why wait? Bam! There's another S match kill. Didn't even need the win box. Just gotta space it well. It's better on the back end as the forward at the end pushes in. And that's the up air. Up air, really good juggling tool along with Nair. Cut him with a jab. Okay. Now you die. Alright. We couldn't even shield that in time. That back air was surprisingly fast. We're now in our last stock, but yeah, free up air. Alright. That up smash is a ridiculous length, but I don't it's very skinny, so I don't know if we'll be able to hit it. Dancing! But we are able to hit that down air, closing out the first game a little bit closer than I would have expected, but for the most part, this is a goddess win. Alright, looks like we have Terry up next, which I think could be a bit harder than Ganondorf, but of course, you know, not as easy to hit. But yeah, our reticle already doing some good damage already, around 13%, and up tilt. I haven't really talked about it, but it's pretty good as well. Can give you that damage and good up air damage as well. That back air actually really good. Pay attention to the kill, but pay attention to that F smash as it already gets the kill for that first stop. And be careful that down smash and Terry's auto turn around, but make it back from free. Uh, up special is warp, it's similar to Mewtwo's teleport, just you get able to warp cancel, which I can't do, but a good F smash and free down air. And Terry's dead at 57%. We're already at a two stock lead, so let's just stand here. Perfect. Alright, uh, I'm surprised I'm not getting hit right now. I missed it again. Okay. If you whipped another down smash, that would have been pretty funny, but yeah. Jab, jab, power dunk is a true combo at that percent, so try to get him with that air dodge. Got to bait it, and yeah, unfortunately the shield was a little too small, so power dunk did shield poke, so couldn't save us there. Trying to use those big wings to our advantage, good back throw, and alright. Alright, no up air, no forward air either. There's the second forward air. Alright, now let's go up and chase him for the last forward air, and the last forward air of that game. Just take out Terry. That was a really good game. I just was on the pursuit for Palutena. Warning, the following three matches you are about to see piss Phantom off so much that he may or may not raise his voice to coincide with that factor. However, Phantom's emotions are valid in this segment because his opponent had the mannerisms of a 13 year old. Viewer discretion is advised. Ooh, all right, Lucas. Lucas' assists tend to be a little hit or miss for me, as some of them can be pretty, pretty good, but others can be really, really bad. We'll see how this one fares. All right, good up tilt to start things off. We just air dodge so we can use that to our advantage. All right. Oh, another up tilt. Didn't work that time. Only got one hit off of that. There we go. 
Oh, and he didn't air dodge, but alright. So he does switch up his movements. Interesting. And he does use a lot of that rope snake. And there is, I was talking about, that counter doubles as a reflect into projectiles. And... Uh, alright. Well, it looks like he forgot that you can do it twice. He did have time, but maybe he just doesn't know how to do that. Alright. Do some more damage to jab. Getting him to 32. Well, I tried to get him that time. Trying to punish him. All right, all right. Well, I did it the wrong way. All right, that's now that's not cool. I don't appreciate the tea bagging. Stop that. All right. A little bit low on that forward air. All right. All right. That is the counter. As you can see, it, it depends on if it's it being hit by projectile or normal attack. Ooh, in the slant on stage. I don't appreciate the tea bagging. Stop that. All right, and the wind box is moving him a little bit forward. I think we better teach this Luke as a lesson for teabagging. Aww, uh, I wanted the shield break. That would have been really nice. Especially the down smash. And, geez, that was a lot of up airs. Alright, uh, Legion be up air, though. Alright, come on. You stupid! There we go, you can't mess around. Try to get him with that back air, but the hitbox is still active on the F smash. Last dog, too. Alright, good up tilt. Wanted to make sure. Down throw. Nair this time. Didn't want to go forward throw there. Alright, the. Explosive Flame didn't reach there. Okay. Dodge the PK Freeze. Alright. Alright, we're fine. Do it again! Alright, there's a F Smash. That is what you get for trying to teabag on me and thinking you could win. win. <laughs> you, you just can't win. Alright, I did not appreciate that Lucas's attitude that last match, so let's see if he got a little nicer towards it, or at least treats me a little bit more respect but in between stocks. Alright. So nothing yet so far, just mirror. This is kind of a boring neutral to be honest. Alright. Alright. Be careful. Oh, got hit by the PK fire. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think I have a cover. No, unfortunately not. And he's still too bad. That is to no one's surprise. God. Alright. So yeah, the thing about auto reticle is if it's not locked on, it won't do that, but we do get a reflect off of that, as you can see. Alright. Let's try to land with Nair. Didn't do it as well. And that is not happening. I know you're trying to use that invincibility, but we're far too away for that. And we did it before you released it. Oh. Uh, like it Stop teabagging. I told you. I'm, I'm just going to take him out again. All right. Dodge it that time. All right. Ooh, good down tilt. That's actually pretty good. And bait him with that. And Lois, I'm dancing. Oh, there's a good F smash for that. Bait him with the auto reticle, but use the magnet, and that's a free F smash on that whack, whack air dodge. Alright. Close the flame, not doing too much, but that dash tech. Watch out for back air and dash tech, as those are, have a shield that can block and has invincibility, and we're still walking, living at 128. And don't do me that disrespectful walk, I'm gonna kill you with that. Alright, good F tilt. Auto reticle, and dodge smash! Yeah, baby! I knew in that exact moment he was gonna jump and rope snake up again. And that is what you get a second time for teabagging on me. Alright, final match coming up, and I am not convinced that this Lucas is going to play nice at all. In fact, I think we just need to destroy him now. Alright. And what a big surprise. Dead at 14% for not doing the PK fire twice. And you still have the audacity to teabag me within stocks. Within that F smash. Do normal get up with safe. I told you. Back throw. And no, huh? that does not hit. Alright, I thought he was going to roll into that. Stop teabagging, alright? You've already lost the first two, and you aren't going to win this one now. So that's really unfortunate that you have the nerve to do that. Alright. Right. Oh, I, I didn't air dodge in time. Oh, but I, we still make it back. We're fine. Still, still alright. No F tilt. There's another fourth though. Let's see if we can go hide this time. Ooh, a little bit too low. And stop teabagging. That's going to be the last teabag you ever do. I'm living this last stock and I'm taking your last two. Unfortunately, not getting the up smash either. And he's just trying to go for back air. Free F smash. That is the slowest F smash in the game. And that is just too big of a gambit, especially with me being at 76%. Alright, missing the counter again. I thought he was roll. Ooh, okay, that was very close, but get a free F smash off of that. Alright. You're not hitting that up smash either. Free F smash. Explosive flame doing a little bit of damage. I'm gonna just grab him. Forward air. And then. 
Call the police. I'm telling you what you get. Call the police. Get what you deserve. Donor. That is what I'm talking about. Don't ever teabag me again because that is what the goddess of light can do and never hides from the lights. Okay, well, excuse me. That wasn't very exactly uh, goddess of light of me, but that Lucas needed to learn a lesson somehow. And the fact that he teabagged through every single stock of those last three games and still lost on top of that. Yeah, that, that's not a good thing to see, especially in those three matches, you know. He didn't play as well as I had hopefully hoped, honestly, and the fact that he would be offstage, didn't know about the Thunder tech, and still continues to teabag just baffles me. Aside from that, Lucas, though, you know, the other games were pretty alright. They were nothing to write a home about, but yeah, Paul Tana, very simple character, very easy to learn. Uh, Nair, up air, really good juggle tools, and a lot of her moveset is, you know, very, very good. And back air, dash attack, ha those having invincibility on the shield, similar to, like, Bowser up smash, and... Yeah, you know, Paul Tana is a pretty fun character to play, and also not exactly fun to go up against, but... I think we just proved that Palutena can still bring down judgment if she ever needs to. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and up smash that subscribe button as that will be pretty helpful to me and I would really, really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.